Hi, in this video we're going to introduce for loops in Carol. So in your programs you might want to repeat some commands, you know, more than once. And what would we do if we wanted to put down a hundred tennis balls? Do you think we would do it this way? Just write put ball, put ball, put ball, put ball, put ball, put ball a hundred times? That's probably not the best way to do it. Introducing the for loop. So the for loop lets Carol repeat a section of code a fixed number of times. So when you think for loop, think repeat fixed number of times. So if you want to do something 10 times, you can use a for loop. If you want to do something 1,000 times, you can use a for loop. So when you want to repeat something a fixed number of times, we use a for loop. So what does a for loop look like? So there's a lot going on here, but basically we write for, open parentheses, int i equals zero, semicolon, i is less than count, semicolon, i plus plus, and uh, parentheses, open curly brace, close curly brace, and the code that we want to repeat goes in between. So this lets us repeat some code count times. So for example, if we wanted to put down 10 tennis balls, this would be our code. Basically that key number there is the 10, and this is saying 10 times we want to repeat the code put ball. So we don't need to know exactly what all the parts are of a for loop, but we know this is how we repeat something. So let's go into our code editor and use the for loop. Okay, so in this program, let's use a for loop to have Carol move nine times. So we write for int i equals zero, i is less than nine, that's the number of times we want to repeat it, i plus plus, enter, open curly brace, enter, and now the thing we want to repeat nine times is the move command. So let's, you know, let's run this program. And so what this is saying is nine times repeat the code between the brackets. So let's go and use a for loop in another program. So in this program we want to use a for loop to put down six tennis balls and then move. So we want to repeat something six times, that's a fixed number of times, so we can use a for loop. We'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than six, i plus plus, enter, open curly bracket, enter, and now the command we want to repeat six times is put ball. And then after the for loop, we'll say move. So let's run this code to see what happens. So we'll see that six times we're going to put down a tennis ball, and then we'll move. And you can see we have a stack of six tennis balls here. So remember, this is how you do a for loop, and then the number of times you want to repeat is what goes right in this part of the loop. Now it's your turn.